Stage play is a form of entertainment that has long been relegated to the background within the mainstream entertainment industry in the country. But it looks like things are about to change. My name is Mayawa Ogundele. Welcome to Entertainment News on Channels Television. As always, we have lined up an array of interesting stories for enjoyment, so stick around. Today, we'll take a look at how some entertainers are working hard to bring back theater to the fore in entertainment. But before then, let's spend some time to reflect on the life and times of gospel singer Kefi Obareke, who passed away in the United States of America recently. <laughs> Another star has dropped from the Nigerian music industry. Kefi passed away in the early hours of Friday, June the 13th, 2014. The multiple award-winning singer, who was an honorary UN Peace Ambassador, began her singing career at a relatively young age as a chorister at a church in Delta State. She went professional with a debut album, Branama, in December 2003, then under Alec Music Imprint. The album earned her national recognition, and in 2005, the business administration graduate married her label CEO, Godwin Alec. However, the happy ending never happened for the couples as they got divorced in 2008 after a protracted marital problem and a very public feud. This, however, did not stop the prolific songwriter, a skilled dancer and passionate singer as she kept at it and released the Hedy's award-winning Kokoroko with Tamaya in 2010. She then moved international shortly afterwards and headlined the African Festival of Arts in Chicago, sharing the stage with Grammy winner India Ari and Tyrese Gibson. She began a new chapter in her life and said I do to radio host and show producer Teddy Asosa Don Momo in 2012. In May this year, she fell ill aboard a flight to Chicago and reports say she fell into a coma. She never came around. Her management said she wasn't six months pregnant, as widely reported, and put the cause of death as lung failure. 